Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. Kaylee's talking temperature and how that's already affecting travel. Kaylee? Correct. We've witnessed a big temperature drop lately. Um, as if you've been outside, you can tell, and we're not alone. Integrative De-Icing De Services, or IDS, is a company in charge of de-icing planes in Salt Lake City. This year, they're already hard at work, getting ready for, ready for colder temperatures earlier than ever. This year, they started de-icing early. September 30th, that is the first aircraft and the earliest that we've done here in Salt Lake City. How it works? A plane will radio that they need de-icing. They'll pull up into the de-icing pad, and IDS will spray propylene glycol on the plane, which is basically like an antifreeze mixture, and then the plane will take off without de-icing. The aircraft wouldn't take off. You, you have to have de-icing. De-icing takes about 8 to 10 minutes for frost and 20 to 40 minutes for snow. It's important. It's something that we need. I know it frustrates some folks that travel a lot that it does, um, it does take time. And the reason we do it is to provide a safe, clean aircraft and get them to their destinations. IDS is training, spraying water on baggage carts as they prepare for the upcoming winter season. With the carts, it gives them a sense of how close they can get. Uh, we don't want to damage, any, damage anything, so it gives them an idea uh, during this training time how close they can get. On a snow day, IDS can do up to 94 aircrafts a day. All of the solution they use to de-ice the planes goes into the drains and is recycled for other products. And you wouldn't necessarily think of it being used in the summer months, but with the higher altitudes that planes spend most of their times in, those temperatures can be well below freezing all year round, especially in your more northern states and countries. Um, uh, to, for, for, but for the start of their quote unquote winter season, many airlines are de-icing earlier than ever now. Mm -hmm. So uh, airplanes also have internal systems in place that prevent frozen precipitation buildup on the plane's exterior once the anti-icing fluids lose their effectiveness um, in flight. That's so, good so to there's know. other protocols yeah. involved for de-icing, yeah. but mainly you just got to get the ice off the exterior and uh. then from there it can generally fly safe. Well, because I've wondered about that because it's so cold up there and you see even kids uh, in, or not just kids, but in the summer months uh, with sandals on. I never wear sandals or shorts on a plane. It freeze. I freeze to death. Well, yeah, the inside, the inside temperature is different than the outside temperature, no, but I'm wondering cold. how cold it is outside though when you're flying because even in the summer months, I think, oh man, it's 90 degrees in Springfield, but I get up in the air, then I'm like, I wonder what that temperature changes from yeah. 90 degrees in Springfield, you get up that high altitude in the air, and I'm like, hmm. Yeah. It's a difference. Yeah. Not sure. It is. I don't know the technological or scientific stuff around that. But right. But that's sure the whole thing. It's, it's colder up there, no matter what the temperature is down here. So once you de-ice, I have thought about that in the wintertime. Once you de-ice, it's like what keeps it from happening again when you get back up there. Have you ever been on a plane that was oh, in yes. the process of getting Oh, yeah. I don't like it. I don't like to think <laughs> about that. It's just added stress. Yeah. For sure, yeah. and added time, too, I'm sure. Yeah, and added time, too. Scary yeah. stuff, though. Yeah, I know when you think about it, but it's, a good, it's good that they have something yeah. that they can use, and I know that they know more about it than I do. So. Scary from our point of view, but safe from their point of view. Right, exactly. <laughs> they know what they're doing. <laughs> exactly. Sometimes the more you know, the better. Yeah, good story, Katie. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right, coming up, guess what? We're playing AM Sketches. Don't go anywhere. Ozark's Fox AM is not going to be back in a minute because we got to stretch. <laughs> <laughs> well, sorry. Okay. All right. Where did the blanket go? What'd oh, you it's do? over here. It's over okay. here. Okay. Sitting on it. All right. Um, we we think we might want to just get one of these blankets that match our couch because that, then we can use it all year long. Because speaking of de-icing planes and how they're colder in the air, it's really freezing in here. No matter if the temperature is 95 outside as well, isn't that true? <laughs> can we well, can we de-ice the studio? Did that make a difference? Yeah, can we de-ice the studio? You can like bring all of this space with you on a plane? Wouldn't that be nice? Just like bring the couch. Wouldn't that be awesome? Well, they have those planes with that first class where you can lay down. Yeah. You've yeah, seen but those that's planes. expensive. Oh, well, the most uncomfortable. You pay for it. You pay for what you get. <laughs> I have ever been on a plane was flying to Australia in just a regular coach sitting, mm. and it was hideous. Did you take like melatonin or something? No, no. Oh, I thought you meant it No, was I mean, experience. it's just, it's just such a long flight and you're just sitting there and it's, it's You know what they awful. let me do on the flight to um, Amsterdam? The plane wasn't very full and they let oh, me lay on the floor between the seats because there weren't very many passengers. So I got to lay on the floor on and the just- On the floor? Yeah. 
They let me. As gross as it is, yep. I used to do that for uh, bus trips. Awesome. Hey, coming up at AM Sketches, we won't have to stretch then, I promise. We'll be back. <laughs> We're going to have to sketch, not sketch.